Hello, how are you doing then today? So today is a nice little self-care day. You know we need to always prioritize these guys. We prioritize self-care and we prioritize putting ourselves first, okay? If you're not okay, everything else ain't gonna be okay. If you ain't doing all right, everything else ain't gonna be all right. So, prioritize time for yourself and prioritize looking after yourself, your mental well-being, your physical well-being, everything. So, I am on the way to David's and I'm gonna just relax for a hot sec. I'm not even gonna have that much time because I left my house too late. Uh, so I'm probably only gonna have about half hour, 45 minutes because I have a nail appointment at two o'clock. And I'm not gonna get to David's till one now it's telling me. Before it was saying 12, 12.39 and I thought, okay, cool, 12.39. I'll have a little bit of time now, it's telling me 12.55, so I'm not gonna get there till one. And my appointment's at two, and this David's that I'm going to is 20 minutes from my nail appointment. So, I gotta leave at least by 1.40. So, what the hell am I doing getting there at <laughs> But anyway, I'm not even gonna stress, because I've been having a very slow morning, I should have left the house earlier like I said but I was just doing some other things and I'm not going to stress about it as long as I get in there and I, I can have at least 10 minutes in the steam room that's okay I'll do 10 minutes in the steam room do like 20 minutes in the hydro pool and that'll be all right and I'm hungry so I need to order some food you know the drill as soon as I get to my nail tech's house order some food but yeah this is needed and i know i only got my um oh it's a safe six minutes yes please how okay let's go that way then i only got my nails done two weeks ago but and they still look really good they're growing out just a tad teensy weensy bit but i only got this particular set for the white party and the white party is over now so i can change them and my nail tech's pretty booked up so it's best I just get my nails done now. We shall see. I don't even know what I want to get on my nails, to be fair. I want to get something dark, either black or grey or red. I had an idea just now as I was driving and I want to ask my nail ticket. No, nail ticket? <laughs> I want to ask my nail tech if she can do it. And it's like bubble. I want my nails to resemble like a puffer jacket. I looked at like, like look at my bag. Like you see how it has all like the puffy line look. Even like if it could look like a jelly inflatable chair. I just want the stitches. So I'm hoping that the way she could do it is by using clear gel, but then just making really big, thick, really big, thick um, lines going horizontally across my nail. Maybe like three big chunky strips of gel and then that would resemble and then maybe do like clear red you know when they do like the jelly the jelly um colors maybe gel red gel red french but then the french is the 3d bubble <laughs> i'm gonna explain this to her when i see her and hopefully she knows what i'm talking about and hopefully she knows how to execute it but in my mind i am just seeing some jelly bubble French tip nails in either like clear black or clear red. If it's like a solid color, solid black, maybe matte. Mm. I don't know. Cause I don't have any inspo pick saved for this nail set. So I'm actually going there not knowing what we're supposed to do. I was supposed to be picking my nail set when I was in David's, but because I'm not gonna have that much time in David's now, I'm panicking. <laughs> but I'm trying not to panic cause we're supposed to be on a self care day today. 
What the hell are we talking about? We ain't panicking. Time. Huh. Huh. Oh my gosh. I forgot my damn camera at David's and I had to drive back. I was actually, well, I wasn't on time, but I was in David's for the good sufficient amount of time that I said that I could afford to get to my appointment for two. I was on my way to my appointment, then I was about to vlog and realized I don't have my camera and I left it in a damn locker. I don't even know why I brought my camera into David's with me because I don't use it in there. I don't even know why I brought my camera in, put it in the locker in its whole pouch, the whole damn, like I've got this whole pouch for it. The whole pouch was just left in the locker. <laughs> so I had to spin around, go collect it. Now I'm on my way to my nail appointment and it's 2.01 right now. And I'm 17 minutes away, so not looking good. I even ordered food, I ordered food while I was walking back to the changing rooms so the food would get to my nail tech's house at the same time as me story of my life when will Diana ever be able to be on time and, and nothing goes wrong eh and that's a good spot if you don't want to walk around <laughs> yeah i don't want to walk around at all if i'm honest mm. <coughs> at all this is different i've never seen them do it like this before yeah, they literally put my chicken and my shrimp separate but it from my noodles it together there. yeah because i want the sauce on the noodles wait we didn't think of a backup <laughs> um yeah, what is the backup no i was thinking if you had studs then we could do like a silver stud set yeah with like matte black or something or satin black in it mm -hmm. almost try and make it look like leather mm -hmm. Best to have a few of these like little silver pieces and stuff. I wish you ordered some silver stuff that I'm doing, I don't know what they are. You had cherries, right? Uh I can't do that. How was the party by the way? It was okay. Mm. It wasn't really my type of crowd if I'm honest. How comes? Well, first of all, <laughs> you got into some beef as well, didn't you? Not beef, almost did. I remember you saying something about on the way out, and then I even clocked. I didn't realize at the time, but when I was looking back through my snaps, my friend's snaps, and my vlog, she was in the back of a lot of my footage, mm -hmm. just screwing up her face and fixing her hair, and I'm like, okay, so she was eyeing from time then. Weirdo, she probably knows you. So right, yeah. As we're waiting to leave, mm. there's a bunch of guys causing commotion. Someone's screaming, they're acting like they want to fight. Mm. So we're just stood across to the side, right. waiting for them to get out. Someone's taking this guy out. As he's being taken out, he's still shouting, he falls into me. Even though I was off to the side, like he fully fell diagonally off to the side onto me. Some other guy comes rushing over. He goes, hey, don't touch her. She's important. <laughs> and I started laughing. <laughs> And then someone else comes over and goes, you can't say that to her, bro. And he's like, what? She is important. He's like, you don't just go up to someone and say, oh, you're important. I'm just laughing at the conversation the whole time. While they're having this back and forth in front of me, that girl, she stood behind, behind the guy who said I was important. He, she stood behind him just standing there. She's got a drink in her hand. She ain't doing nothing. Mind you, this is like a little small walkway to exit and enter. Yeah. And she's just standing there. So then, when he's eventually finished his back and forth with the guy in front of me, they both walk off. She follows behind and diagonally falls back into me and then starts putting her elbow in my stomach. And I'm like, hold on a minute. And then she doesn't just like, oh, I fell, oh, so bad, get up. No, she stays there and starts pressing her elbow in my stomach. And I said, are you good? And then she got up acting like she's stumbling and went back to exactly where she came from. She didn't go nowhere. She walked in a circle and went back to where she came from. And that's how I knew she did that on purpose. And she looked stink like what? And I'm not even just saying that because she looked stink. Her weave was stiff. She looked greasy. She looked so wet out. <laughs> and I did not. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Always the ugly girl. Mm -hmm. 
Because I remember when I went um, time ago, I went to Palais for my best friend's birthday, like after dinner, right? Mm. Obviously, we're on a promoter's club, promoter's club, promoter's table now. And the promoter's a girl, so it's like, oh, perfect, like, no creepy guys, right? There are girls on the table already when we arrive. And there's two of these, like, special looking girls, like, how did you get in here? Mm. But me, I'm not rude, I'm not going to look at you any type of way, like I'm nice to everybody, I don't care if you're not cute, like I'm going to still be yeah. nice to you, right? And then, um, yeah, we're standing at the table or whatever, and we want to sit down, mind you there's space, and there's like some jackets, but the two girls are taking up too much space, so my best friend's like, oh, can you move down a bit, like I want to sit down. So I think one of them gets up, and then just stands, and then we're like both sitting down now. And then the other one just gets up afterwards. And like the whole time they're just giving us this stink eye. The whole time they're looking at us funny. From the time we got there, they just looked at us like, why are you here type thing. Mm-hmm. Then we're drinking now, like, listen, it was my best friend's birthday. Best believe I'm going to let everyone know it's her birthday. So we've like made the whole table lit now. Because like, we're standing, you know, the little seat bit, we're standing on it. Like, a birthday song was playing, I was like, hyping her up. Mm-hmm. Everyone's hyped because of us too now. So you know, these girls are just kind of like looking at us, everyone's snapping at us type thing. Why do I go to the bathroom, right? My best friend stays there because I like, just save the seats, so I go by myself. So I go to the bathroom, go pee, come out, and then like, I'm washing my hands, and the two girls are there. And then he's like, oh my god, your dress is so nice, yeah. like, all compliment me, right? Yeah. I feel weird because you're just side eyeing me, but now <laughs> you see everyone's like mad cool with us. This is what you're doing. Mm. Go back to the table, my best friend was like, cool, I'm going to go pee now. She goes pee, and she comes back and she's like, you won't believe what happened. I was like, really sweet to you. She's like, yep. <laughs> she's like, yeah, they're always telling me how pretty I am. Like, oh. I was like, that's crazy, because that's the same thing that happened to me when I went there. But you was all screw facing. That's what I'm saying. I'm sick and tired of it. That's why I don't like going out. People love to screw. I just need more of these people nowadays. Like, I'm going to enjoy it. If you want to go be salty with them or baby salty with them, I'm going to live my best life and I'm going to have fun. Literally, like, I don't even know why that girl was so mad because at first I thought it's a fight she wants. But then she doesn't even want to fight because when I said, are you good? That was her opportunity to fight. And then after the man came back over... I feel like she wanted a fight but she didn't expect you to be on it. Probably, because when the man came back over, he was like, you okay? And I was like, no, I'm not actually. He goes, what? I was like, the same flipping girl that was standing behind you just came and elbowed me in my stomach. And I'll actually pump someone down in there. So get me out of here. He's like, no, 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 let me handle it, let me handle it. I was like, there's nothing to handle. It's like, get me out of here before I pump someone down. And she was still standing there. So if she wanted a fight, she could have turned around and said, pump who down? So what was that? What was that for? Just to say that you elbowed the important person in her belly. I'm so confused. Yeah. What was that for? And don't get me started on the guys. Oh my gosh. What is it with guys that just can't keep their hands to themselves? Mm-mm. They just want to touch, touch, touch. Very good. You talking about me in Cornwall? You get two warnings before I elbow you in your stomach. You can come up behind me. I'm gonna remove your hands off me. Come up behind me again, I'll move away. Come back behind me again, I'm gonna elbow you in your stomach. I've done it so many times and I'm like, oh, what was that for? Leave me alone. Like, That's another reason why I don't want to go carnival as well, because last year, someone literally cupped and pinched my ass cheek. Like the hot, it went whoop. I said, what the fuck are you doing? Don't do that. This is why you gotta be drunk when you go. <laughs> this is why you gotta be drunk when literally. you go. Literally. That was my first time wearing costume and then someone literally grabbed my ass cheek. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm good. Do you know whose nail tech is better than yours? Mine. <laughs> uh, what? 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 Maybe I'm a plastic trend. I think what they do is How did you say we'll gloves. do it? You'll cut it. They cut the gloves at the bottom and they just go, rip me out of the it's a rip. Let's try it. Because we didn't do it before. You haven't actually not attempted it. And it's a black one as well. The way she did that.
No, I'm pretty sure they caught it in the bottom. Okay, well. Yeah, look. This is how I cut my glove. I saved it. Okay, so it does go right down to the fingers. Got it. Oh, this is gonna be so long. We have to get it right the first shot, you know. I know. Because I'm not doing this again. We're not doing this again. That's what would be more to the tip, innit? To the end, the pinky. You think you can rip it like that? She watch a few videos to see how they do their hand off that's ripped off. Because I'm actually scared. Okay. That attached, so that it also rips off. That's it, and then just go for it. So she still went down. Because he was doing all these cuts. I say when I rip it off, just kind of do the little thing and then kind of just go like this. This and this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. These have exceeded my expectations beyond measure. I c Mate, when I had this idea in my head, I did not expect it to look this good. Oh my gosh, Ola, I love you so much. You are just my nail tech forever because how... If you even hear the voice note I sent her to explain what I wanted, because I probably explained it to you guys better than I explained it to her. Let me show you what I said to her. I sent her a voice note and I said, There was an idea I was going to try and explain to you in person, but do you feel like it's possible to use clear gel to make a French that looks like um, a puffer jacket? Or like a bubble, a bubble, um... A bubble, inflatable bubble. A bubble. I said a bubble, an inflatable bubble. And she said, I think we could. <laughs> the time it is now, it's like 5.30. Traffic is going to be crazy. I'm in, I'm basically in like Croydon and I need to get to North London. If you know, you know, that's not no quick drive. And to be doing that at 5.30 is not very wise. I'll be stuck in traffic and I don't know what time I'll end up getting to North London. So I might just go home. <sighs> this is when I'm going to start feeling like, is it time to move again? Is it time for me to move back closer to London or to London, back to London? Because I did used to live in London. I actually lived in London for years and years and years. This is the first time where I've fully been out, out of London. And it's actually jarring because everything I want to do and everything that I do is in London. Hey, I love how my tune just comes on as soon as I start vlogging. What? I'm chilling in the bushes outside. Waiting till I catch you, it's gonna be a nice surprise. Nothing's worse than a woman scorn. Fresh down. You play with my heart, you gon' play with these hands He want a red bone on smoke He ain't got a red scent, just jokes Don't let these funny niggas come and laugh you out your pants And you been not sign that contract without getting that advance Okay, hello guys. Today we are in the studio because we have a lot of work to do. So that is what we're here to do. Let's show you the studio, bitch. I am in love with this studio. The view, first of all, is a nice touch. Watching the people go about their day. Good old canary. Nice place to lounge. Set my camera up because I might film. And then, you come in here and it's the vocal booth. 
So you know, when I want to sing, this is where may I go come. But this studio is the most expensive studio in the whole building and it's always booked out. It's hardly ever free. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to do it. See, the way I did it this month, it's my first month being here. And the way I did it this month was not how I wanted to do it. So I actually haven't been, I've been here, but I haven't booked a studio since um, becoming a member here. So I still have all my credits and we are coming up to the end of the month and they don't roll over the credits into the next month. So it's not like I can keep my credits and just use them next month. So because I've still got all my credits and this is the first studio I've actually booked, didn't really matter to me that it was the most expensive studio because I've used, I need to use all my credits. I've still got like 20 credits left and this studio is good because if you book this studio within an hour, before your start time is 50% off. However, I've not been able to do that yet. That was my plan. My plan to book this studio was to do it an hour before so I can do 50% off. But every time I've checked, um, it gets booked. I guess other people do that too. But this time I've booked it full price with my credits and no one's booked it after me until a few more hours. And I think my 20 credits can get me another hour, half price in here. So I'm actually gonna go on the app an hour before my booking is over and see if I can add another hour and then I'll use all my credits. But yeah, I am happy to finally be in this beautiful studio because this was the selling point for me when I came and took the tour before I joined. When I saw this room and they showed me everything that was in here and all the equipment and things that I can do in here, I was like, yeah, I'm becoming a member. So becoming a member and not ever booking a studio was not in my plans. Of course, I did plan to book some of the cheaper studios um, throughout the week. But here we are at the end of the month and this is the first time I've booked a studio. So I kind of like this way, if I'm honest. Let's see, because today I'm not here to really film. I brought my camera and stuff just to set up some angles. I already did that before I started vlogging because I do want to film um, my podcast in here podcast slash radio show stay tuned it's coming it'll be on my other channel dxinx but i do want to film content in this room specifically and once i start filming in here i'm not going to want to then switch studio i'm going to want to keep to this studio so i've been setting up some angles seeing how i look seeing how the lighting looks there's a few things i'd want to tweak and change but that's why i've done the test footage now so i can go home and start figuring it out and what I, what I want and what exactly it needs to look like and um, how it needs to be lit. Because right now it's daytime and I was thinking because of the window in this room that I would have to film what I wanted to film at night just so I can get the ambient lighting because there's some nice ambient lighting on here. Right now I've got it on pink, but it can go any color. Let's just put you guys there. So yeah, it can go any color. But obviously these lights are only gonna look really vibrant when it's dark. Right now we've got a lot of daylight coming in, but on camera it didn't really look too tough, too bad, you know, because this, this, ooh, look at them on a boat. Ooh, I wanna do that on the boat. I am going to kick off my shoes and get started. I brought some ramen with me. I'm gonna go and prepare that in a second because I am actually quite hungry. It's 12.46 now and We've got a lot to get through, so let's do it. Cuban on Cuban! <laughs> I edit my own videos because if I was to give an edit of this, he gonna leave in all. The, he's gonna leave in all of this ratchetness. 
I knew it was going to be hot today. I knew it was going to be 32 to be exact today. However, I thought, nah. I'm about to go and make my ramen noodles that I told you guys I brought. <sighs> This is a cute little um, lounge area, specifically for this studio. And I'm assuming this one too. There's one here, I didn't realize there was another one there. But yeah, this is like the lounge area, if you book that studio, which is nice that they've got a private lounge here. I guess you do some drinks here, put some food if you order some Uber Eats. They've got a TV here. That, um, I think this is an Xbox. Yeah, it's an Xbox control. Xbox, speaker, TV, lovely view. Absolutely love this place, what can I say? And then you come over here, another seating area. Mm -hmm. I can hear someone working. I know. That's just the speaker here. Just the ambience of the. <laughs> hey, hey, not this ambience. I can probably get some nice pictures and content against this brick wall. Hmm. Oh, do you know what? There's a door release right there. So I'm going to go and get my other phone that has my app. Because if I get locked out at any of these doors and my phone is left in the studio, I don't think there's any staff on site today because it's Sunday. Or if there is staff on site, they might be leaving early. I ain't trying to get locked out. wanted a kettle it's the ambience for me hopefully there's enough water in this kettle for my 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 ramen <laughs> I couldn't get it underneath the water dispenser. studio to marinate Ooh. I'm still on my first video and it's after two I don't think I'm gonna edit everything that I need to edit but I also don't want to rush I'm not rushing myself and I'm not you know just because I've got a certain amount of time here trying to get everything done in that time if I don't get it done I don't get it done it's not that deep I'm gonna get one video done. I know that's for sure. But first, uh, to the restroom. It's like a hospital in this, but 
our school. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna let me out. can't we? Was that me? Whoopsie. Yeah. Come on guys. We can keep the toilets better than that. We're in a very nice studio here. I saw a TikTok of um I need to go get my other phone because look there. I'm locked out of it, yep. Oh, I got locked out. Yeah, I saw some TikTok of um, this girl who was complaining about the toilets at Pirate Studios, saying that the toilets at Pirate Studios are nasty. They shouldn't be nasty here because I want to pay a membership. I want to pay a membership for come destroy the place. And we're back. Let's go have some noodles, shall we? This is Zalon and this is a recording device. We are in studio. And I wanted to show you around with my meta glasses where we are staying. We're doing a writing session um, for the next couple of days. We've got producers and writers flying in from all over uh, the world for this writing session. This is our fridge. This is our kitchen, we've got food coming up. Uh, this is outside. We've got like eight bedrooms on site. Let me show you my bedroom first. Look, just as soon as that one second. Here, Sorry. What is I'm just, I'm just in a vlog. I'm doing a quick vlog. I'm doing a quick vlog. A quick vlog. Yeah. Dr. Dallon, all right, and you can see the studio and this is the, the main room. Just a chill out here where we're doing some writing. And here we are here. I cannot believe this. Yeah. 
studio is going to be free until seven so I could actually just be in there another two hours but on the app it says if you overstay your booking time they will automatically charge you and it will just be deducted from your um your credits because they'll see there's cameras in every studio so they'll see however I don't have any credits left <laughs> so if I don't have any credits left there's nothing for them to take so Part of me wants to just go back in that studio for two hours. But I have a feeling it's going to come back to bite me in my ass. And even though I don't have no credits for them to take right now, they'll just either wait until next month, which isn't far away, for my credits to um, renew and then take it from them. Or they might just put a bill, an invoice on my account because they put invoices for your membership. You have to pay them on the app. So they might actually just include an invoice saying two hours. <laughs> in studio one and studio one is like 20 pounds an hour so it's actually 40 pound an hour it's 20 pound an hour if you do it um an hour before like i said they'll do 50 percent off so the studio is actually 40 pound an hour i do not want to be slapped with a random 80 pound invoice <laughs> but it's just right there look <laughs> And when I came here, the door was open, so I'm leaving it open. I don't know why it was open. Maybe they're trying to air it out. But this door was wide open when I came. And I'm going to leave it exactly like that. But I could literally just be up in there right now. Edit in another video. Because two hours is all I need to do one more video, to be honest. Two more hours will do me a nice, a nice vlog. I haven't done enough i've done one vlog that's why i feel like this but i took my time doing that one vlog and it was a lot of footage so let me cut myself some slack <sighs> and head home and just relax for the rest of my sunday just chill out chill out day you know it's okay to chill out sometimes chill out sometimes is that enough <laughs>